movement. He's, he's got some real quicky, shifty, you know, counters there. He slips to the inside, throws that lead uppercut, slips to the outside, throws the overhand right. I think he's going to need to do that to close the distance with the longer arm Sykes. Here comes Alexis with a little combination, but no damage done early. A little tricky shot there from Sykes, a left hook to the body in the middle of the combination that Espinac opened up with. Good overhand right there by Espina. Seemed to get the attention of Sykes. The attention what Espino is trying to accomplish here in this first fight on this long undercard before the bell. Stepping up, hoping to stab himself early. He does predict, Chris, that he, he thinks he has the upper hand. He thinks he can get an early round knockout somewhere midway through with his scheduled six-rounder. I spoke at length with his trainer, Robert Garcia, last night, and he said he's been getting great sparring, and then he, all the sparring partners come out, and they say, man, that kid's got power. Very little in the way of feeling each other out here, both coming to fight, stepping in, neither backing down. It's good to see early. Oh, ooh. Just messed with that. Sykes was trying to bring from down under a little bit of power, and just missed the mark. You can see the eyes of Alexis and his body language. He wants to come in and do just that. Throw hard shots, hit the body, bang the body, get whatever he can hit. Hit the arms, hit the body, hit the head, whatever he, he, can, he can touch. He wants to make his opponent feel that power. Snakes a left hand just in on the chin of Sykes. Does Espino just to get a little touch as this first round starts to reach its conclusion? Good opening round for both men. You can kind of see what each one needs to do in order to be successful. Yeah, nice little bit of give and take to start things off on our first fight before the bell. Espino and Sykes exchanging. Very quality effort from both to begin. Last time, uh, fight fans saw a bit of Espino who gets a little right cross the left chin. And Sykes was 363 days ago. We got a unanimous decision against Vecchio Savage. Hold on. There's a little clash of heads there. Unintentional heads meeting as Christopher Young says, let's hold it, put pause on for a moment. Their heads have come together a few times in this round and a half. And what's that tell you as these two? I mean, they're trying to both get inside? I think, yeah, that's that's probably exactly what it is. You know, Espino is very aggressive coming forward. He, You know, he's like what we call being heavy over his front foot because he's so aggressive. Um, and I think Sykes just is having trouble finding his range, maybe a little bit jumpy at times. So that's why their heads are coming together. And part of the thought process by one with left shoulder starting to get into the chin there of Espino from Sykes. But oh, getting so close, they can whisper in each other's ear here. And, they're coming after each other. It's good to see. You want to see a competitive fight. You want to see these two try to stab themselves. There's no, as you mentioned, the feeling out of certain bouts when fighters face each other. This None of that here. Now, Espino's just missing that, that right hand. We saw that moments ago. I think if he kind of chops that a little bit, shortens it up, drops it a little bit lower, similar to what he just did there, I think he'd have a lot more success. Couple phantom swings here to finish the second round as each trying to get oh, a little left jab just as the bell rings. Espino making contact, but again, pretty even through that second round. I do love that straight left hand that you have from Espino. Lands very hard. How do you rate the power from the left hand? Obviously trying to set things up for that right hand right there, but does it serve him well? You know, the, the jab looks very strong, very stiff. He's got great mechanics on it. Um, I haven't seen much in terms of the left hook or left uppercut. He's thrown it a few times. It doesn't look that powerful, but that right hand does look heavy. And Sykes doing his best to avoid it. How far along would he be in the maturation process? I mean, that's not a lot of ring experience. No, I mean, he's 21 years old as well. There's no reason to, to rush him. And he, and he had a he had a very low number of amateur fights. He had 23 or 24 amateur fights, which, you know, we're seeing guys two, 300, you know, these days. So, you know, with a, with a kid like him, you can take your time, let him develop as, as a pro and get seasoned. Ooh, good right hand there. Now starting to pick his spots. You can see a little bit more intent and purpose in where his stance is against Sykes and where he's trying to strike. Still hasn't landed the formidable punch. Looking to get inside and 
You mentioned his amateur status for Espino. He was very sturdy despite the lack of abundance of fights. He was twice a U.S. national champion and did compete for Team USA. Sykes coming on a little bit here. He, you know, he's a tough, scrappy guy. He's in there. He's willing to mix it up, and especially now. And he's got beautiful right uppercut there from, from Sykes on the inside. Pop the head up of Espino. Sykes not bad in his own right as uh, coming out of Columbia, Maryland, a two-time Maryland Golden Gloves champion. But not a, a lot of abundance of experience on his side either. This is just his ninth overall professional fight at 31 years of age. But he's definitely fought the stiffer competition as opposed to Espino. He's fought some undefeated guys. Um, he's been in tough. So, you know, you got to look beyond the numbers with a guy like Sykes. And hoping his experience with age and, and his time as a professional might find his way to putting a blemish on that perfect record thus far for Alexis. Sykes having the best round of his fight so far tonight. Landing good shots, being busy, letting his hands go. Ooh, good uppercut there from Espino. Good response to the left hand of Sykes that was becoming a little more authoritative. Stiff, stiff jab there, followed by a hard right hand from Espino. There's another one. Decent throwing of hands from Espino to finish out round four. I'd love to see Espino just be busier. You know, when he lets his hands go, he throws combinations. He has great success. Put some hurt on, on Sykes, but he, he needs to be more consistent. Good double left hook oh, and a right hand. hand. Oh, and he senses blood. Circles in and Espino going after Sykes and really starting to hammer. Oh, good body work there on the inside as well. And Sykes has wobbled. He has yet to fall, but Espino all over Sykes here in round five. Let's see the killer instinct that Espino has now. He's got his man hurt. He's got the sense. He's staying with the goose egg in the loss column. Can he finish Sykes here? And that was a vicious exchange. And Espino getting the better of Sykes. As Espino he now. needs to push the action here. He's letting, he's letting Sykes come back a little bit. There we go. He needs to hit the body as well. Good right hand over the top. And really establishing a dominant stance here in this fifth round is Espino. Alexis just finding the combinations, putting glove to chin. Can think, he maximize this moment? I think whatever happens here, Espino's gonna look back. Ooh, good left hook over the top. Sykes is really hurt. And Chris Young, the referee says that's it. And what do you know, Alexis Espino says, look at me now, 7-0 and o professional stature is secured in Miami. Good stoppage, good stoppage. I thought Sykes was really hurt, so I'm not, I'm not upset about that at all. What was the difference there? You, through the first four rounds, even towards the end of the fourth, it seemed as though Sykes was starting to find his way through the match, and then Espino kicked it up a gear. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's just what I said. I think Espino just needed to let his hands go. He's got beautiful combinations. He's got good power, obviously. Um, he just needed to let his hands go, touch his man, keep touching him, stay a little more consistent. Once he did that, it was all she wrote. Well, for Sykes, a disappointing fifth round as he thought he might have been going in toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but Espino just too good and too accurate when it mattered most. I think I spoke too soon about that left hand. Those counter left hooks turned out to be very, very powerful. <laughs> well, it, it took his time to warm up. I mean, he certainly got his ry rhythm into it. And again, they both came out competitive. They were looking to establish some contact early. We're able to do so. But as things progressed, Espino started to hit the gas pedal. 